Thank you for that question. In answering your question, I've brought up these couple of slides to help us through, but basically it's about privacy and it's your information and who gets to see, use it and have access to it and all of those sort of things. Yep. And hopefully that'll, that will allay your concern that we mentioned over here. Let me start with this slide. We're not in the business of selling your data and we don't request that you post personal data. We're all aware of social networking sites that work on the business model that you post your pure life history, it's sold off and a bunch of people get rich. We all know that model. Here, we not only do we not sell your data, we're not actually requesting you to put personal data up. All we're asking you to do is to put in a minimal amount of information to help the system work, such as your name, your address, and those sort of things, which you're gonna need to prove that you've raised funds anyway. You work with your family, your friends, your groups, and your organizations to raise funds, have fun, do a bit of gossip, social interaction, and all of those sorts of things. But we're not asking you to put up anything about your life, your history, or any of those things, and no one else gets to see it. So, your data is confidential to you. Only you get to access your personal information and your personal financial transaction information. No one else gets to see it. You've used the site. Where do you get to see my personal information? Other than that the campaign is from me, where else do you see it? You don't. There is a minimal amount of information that goes to the organization, which obviously it has to be done, but we have the policies and restrictions and the procedures in place around that. Within our operations, we've in built policies and procedures and the safeguards around your information. Now, the classic one is your address book. Who gets to see your address book? I don't. The person next to you doesn't. Because when you use your address book and you send out to your friends to the fundraising campaign, they all receive an individual email asking, saying, it's me here raising funds for this. Would you like to contribute? They're not seeing your address book. You're seeing your address book. If you want more on the address book, there's a presentation about this as well. Just search YouTube for address book. And you only see which groups and organizations you're connected with. If you go onto the site, where does the person next to you get to see what groups and organizations you're connected with? Because they don't. And you're right, it's none of their business. So, there's a minimal amount of information that others will see, but the bulk of your information, no one else gets to see, no one else gets to use, others don't have access to your information, we don't sell your information, and we're not asking you to post your life history. You like that? Great. Thank you.